Good day everyone! Today, we will going to discuss what is intersubjectivity. As defined by Wikipedia, intersubjectivity is the psychological relation between people. It is usually used in contrast to solipsistic individuals' experience, emphasizing our inherently social being. Martin Bober According to this Jewish philosopher, Human person is a complete being compared to other objects. Also, human person establishes the world of mutual relation of experience. Carol Wojtyla, also known as Pope John Paul II, stated that participation is the essence of human person. Also, a human person is able to fulfill oneself and is oriented towards relation and sharing in the communal life for the common good. Let's move on to the appreciation of intersubjectivity. Person with disabilities or PWDs. Any person who has a physical or mental impairment that substantially limits one or more major life activities. In this case, parents need to reach the point of constructive action among PWDs and community sensitivity to positive and supportive attitude toward PWDs is also an important component. Nowadays, we have this blind message. Blind massage has been quite known amidst everybody for giving opportunities to the blind community. Another is the priority lanes. Good thing for most PWDs is that they have prioritized lanes for them to utilize and make use. Another is the personalized CRs for them to make use. Bad things are, some people tend to forget who they are and how important are them in the community. And, some PWDs are discriminated in the working area of their cap capability to do a certain job. Next topic is the underprivileged sector. This refers to individuals or families in urban areas with incomes below the poverty line. These are the rights of women. Protection from all forms of violence. Protection and security in times of disaster, calamities, and other crisis situations. Participation and representation. Equal treatment before the law, and etc. Women's rights are the fundamental human rights that were enshrined by the United Nations for every human being on the planet nearly 70 years ago. These rights include the right to live free from violence, slavery, and discrimination, to be educated, to own property, to vote, and to earn a fair and equal wage. Republic Act 9262, or the Anti-Violence Against Women and Their Children Act of 2004. This law prohibits any act or a series of acts committed by any person against a woman and their children such as physical, sexual, psychological violence, and economic abuse. John Jacques Rousseau According to him, women should be educated to please men. He believes that women should be useful to men, should take care, advise, console men, and to render men's life easy and agreeable. Mary Wilson Craft According to her, education would produce women who were mere propagators of fools. She believes that women must be united to men in wisdom and rationality. Also, she maintains that women must learn to respect themselves. Filipino women are subjected to oppression among others to class and sex. Others, Filipino women are not simply oppressed but have been actively participating in movements that not only seek empower for their sector but for other marginalized groups as well. Created using Powtoon.